What's up you guys and on today's episode I'm going to teach you how to make some delicious tender herb crusted lamb racks. This is a recipe y'all don't want to miss so make sure y'all stay tuned watch the whole video and let's get started. Get your rack of lamb and we gonna season these things i'm not playing around when it comes to the seasoning so we're gonna get our lamb add some olive oil to it so it's a binder for the seasonings for the seasonings we're gonna keep it simple so what i added was two teaspoons of some onion powder then i added two teaspoons of that garlic salt yes there's salt in it so i didn't add any normal salt and then we add two teaspoons of some freshly cracked black pepper you already know give that meat a good old rub and then we're gonna make sure we cover the sides and after we do that we're gonna get our cast iron and we're gonna heat that up we're gonna base this thing like a steak so i added some oil to my pan let that get super hot so when i add my lamb it's gonna get a nice sear to it because we're gonna finish this thing off in the oven so we're gonna add both of our lamb racks and we're gonna cook that until it has a nice brown sear just like that y'all see and here's a better angle for y'all just like that that's what you want and make sure you see the side people be forgetting about the sides like those need to be crusted too like i said we're gonna cook this like a steak i'm gonna add some rosemary some thyme some garlic and then i'm gonna add some butter we're gonna base this like a steak so we can get those herbs infused into the meat and give it more flavor after we finish basting our lamb, we're gonna put this in our oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for four minutes and we're just gonna par cook it. In the meantime, while this is in the oven, I'm gonna show you how to make this herb crusted breading and this is gonna give it some nice color and some crunch to the lamb. In your blender or RoboCoop, we're gonna use half a cup of some panko breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna add two stems of some rosemary. Make sure you break it up just like this. We don't need that stick in there. Then we're gonna add some thyme, just one stem and the same thing and we're gonna break that up. Now we're gonna get one fourth cup of some parsley. Then I added some mint. I think mint and lamb go perfect with each other and it's the perfect combination so I'm gonna add five leaves of that. Blend this up until it transitions into a nice green color and you can top this on anything but obviously it's great on lamb so make sure y'all save this and we're gonna get back to the lamb. We back and we took the lamb out it's been four minutes and it's part cooked and that's what we want so now we're gonna get some Dijon mustard and this is gonna be our base so when we rub it in with that green herb panko breading it's gonna stick onto here. So get you a little paintbrush and this part was actually pretty fun because it felt like I was painting like I was making a masterpiece and that's what we are doing we are making a masterpiece and a delicious one at that move them limb racks and we're gonna add in our breadcrumbs so when we do this we're gonna place the flat side down first make sure you push it down so we can get an even surface distribution of the breadcrumbs now we're gonna fill in some little gaps like that as you can see and make sure y'all get the sides y'all better not miss the sides and if you do that's on you i don't want to hear any complaining but after we do that we're gonna put it on our sheet tray we're gonna put a probe in it we're gonna set the internal temperature to 127 in our 350 degrees fahrenheit oven and we want it at 127 because when i pull this out it's still gonna keep on cooking like a steak and it's going to cook until it reaches like an internal temperature of 130 to 131 which is perfect for us before we cook this cook it to the temperature that you want because i already know people going to be like it's too big i don't like it like that so cook it more so the day before i made me some sous vide mashed potatoes so fire if y'all want to make this i got some yukon gold potatoes now we're going to peel them because i don't like skin potatoes some people be doing that in the south place your potatoes in the bag and we're going to add some herbs so i added some thyme and a little bit of some rosemary i have two pounds of potatoes so i added one stick of butter yes that's a lot of butter but trust me it's gonna be worth it for these potatoes now we're gonna take one cup of some milk and that's it that's why i love the sous vide because i can just make it and then push it off to the side put it in the water bath and i don't have to worry about it we're gonna cook this for an hour and 30 minutes at a temperature of 195 degrees fahrenheit and that's it and we're gonna move on so now our lamb is almost done and we're gonna work on our sauce i love sauces on lamb so we're gonna do a red wine demi glaze sauce and it's super easy to make so first what you're gonna need is one cup of some red wine and i'm using the pot that i see my lambs in and then we're going to add one cup of some chicken broth so it's going to be an equal parts of both red wine and chicken broth we're going to bring that heat up until it starts to bubble like that then we're going to add three tablespoons of butter and this is going to help it make the sauce more creamy and thicken it if you really want that strong red wine flavor leave the heat running until it starts to concentrate and it starts to thicken up into like a very thicker sauce so I took the lamb out when my probe hit 127, which was about eight minutes in the oven at 350 degrees, and it's looking nice. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes and it reached the temperature of 131 exactly and perfect. So now we can cut into it. Look at this cross section right here. And that is how you make herb crusted lamb. We did not fold on this recipe. 
What I like to do is get some of my sous vide mashed potatoes, make that my base, which I mix them up until they're smooth, add my seasonings, season it with whatever you want. Then we're gonna add some Parmesan on top to give it some more flavor and some of that cheese. And that is how you make it. What y'all about to see is the impatientness, tiredness from a shift at work and coming home hungry. So we stacked it all nice. And then I had my sauce, but didn't have a clear idea of what type of style presentation I wanted to do. And I just rushed into it. Patience is key to making a great dish and great presentation so please do not rush on anything you do in life because it will mess you up in the end and you'll just be starting over like how i had to here so what i did was i tried to redo it hopefully this looks nicer and to me it does i could have done better but i'm not gonna be too harsh on myself because what we here for is that lamb the lamb was cooked perfectly super tender the aromatics from the herbs complemented the lamb perfectly also that mint came through just like i said so make sure you add mint and it was just a great ditch so if y'all like this make sure y'all leave a like comment down below and tell me will y'all be trying this and other than that i'm out